Welcome back to another video and greetings from Okinawa. On this video, we are going to be checking out one of the most popular steakhouses in Naha. Then we'll check out some old-fashioned drive-ins that locals love. Most of these places feature something called the A lunch, which is something you can find at many restaurants here. It's similar to the mixed plate that you can find in Hawaii, and we're super excited to try them out for ourselves. Thanks to Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. More on them later. So we are driving to our first place, which is going to be a drive-in, of course. And this one is called Drive-In Hawaii. Really, really looking forward to going because uh, I heard that they have good breakfast as well as something that looks like a plate lunch. <laughs> Alright guys, so here we are at Drive-In Hawaii Restaurant. It's located on the northern part of mainland Okinawa. Wow, as soon as we drove in, it like screamed old Hawaii. It really does kind of remind me of um, Hawaii in the 80s. This restaurant was opened in 1976. As soon as you come inside, it kind of looks like an old-fashioned diner with Okinawa twist. There is even a jukebox in here. All around, it's trees and flowers. Very, very tropical and you can kind Kind of see the beach from here as well. A lot of light coming into the restaurant. I like it. Mine is fried egg pancake and hamburg set. There are three pancake and maple syrup, butter, salad, sausage, and this is a hamburg stick. On top is sunny side up. Yeah. Oh, nice. It's beautiful. Mm. The egg yolk flavor and just this hamburg steak, the meat flavor matches so nicely. They gave the two types of sauce, tomato based sauce, and another one is, I think, soy sauce based and onion and garlic. I want to eat with this onion and garlic. Mm. The soy sauce flavor and beef flavor is a very good combination. Of course, onion and garlic is very good for steak. And one more sauce is tomato based one. Mm, mm. Tomato and beef is also very good combination. Oh, oh beautiful. My delightful time. I like pancake. I'm a pancake connoisseur. Mm, mm. It's fluffy pancake and flavor wise, it's similar to my, my pancake I cook at home. The maple syrup and butter combined so nicely. Mm. So this set also includes drink. I chose hot coffee. Oh, this coffee is good. <laughs> mm. So this is my egg lunch set. It comes with soup. I also got a side of iced tea. Now, I usually don't eat this much for breakfast, but I mean, come on. I had to try the A set. Look at it. It looks like a mixed plate. Oh my gosh. First of all, let's start off with the soup. Okay, so this is their homemade soup. It looks like chowder. I noticed that uh, the restaurants here in Okinawa, the soup look like this. Itadakimasu. Mmm. 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 That's pretty good. I wonder what it is. It could be clam chowder, like without the flavor of clam, or it could even be like cream of mushroom. There's pieces of carrots in there. It's creamy. It also tastes a little bit like chicken as well. Really good. So this is the plate, the A lunch plate. And you know, they actually won an award for this. So you have a mound of rice here. You got some salad, and then you have deep fried something. You got deep fried shrimp. You got a hamburger patty with gravy, sausage, egg omelet. That's fried chicken. You got some spaghetti under there. and. Maybe that's a piece of uh, ginger pork. I wanna try the, the burger patty here with the gravy. Look at that. I think that's gravy. Anyway, the only way to find out is to eat. Mmm, very tender piece of burger patty. Mmm. Mmm, mmm. That was good. 
The burger patty is super, super tender, very juicy, and that is not gravy. This is actually some kind of soy sauce based sauce. A little bit garlicky as well. Really, really flavorful. I don't know what kind of katsu it is, so let me cut into it first before I add anything to it. That looks like tonkatsu. Look at that, it's a very thin layer of pork cutlet. I'm gonna eat this with this um, soy sauce based sauce. Mm, very tasty piece of pork. Oh, so crispy. I gotta take a bite of the rice. Mm. Oh, yeah. mm. Let's try a bite of the omelette, the tamagoyaki. Mm. This is omelette. Mm. Mm -hmm. For the omelette, I'll do it the Hawaii way with ketchup. Mm. Oh yeah, that deserves another bite of rice. Mm. I'm gonna try this piece of fried chicken. Maybe it's fried chicken. Chicken karaage. Mmm, mm. that's like a sweet soy sauce based sauce. That's good and super crispy. Um, this one is deep fried to perfection. It kind of reminds me of like um, the Korean chicken that you have in Hawaii. For those of you in Hawaii, doesn't this remind you of like teriyaki beef? But this is like pork. Like the, the thickness of the, the meat is just like the teriyaki beef in Hawaii. Mmm! It does remind me a little bit of like a less sweeter version of teriyaki sauce. Like a Hawaii style. Mmm! That's good. And pretty tender piece of pork. I'm gonna eat the fried shrimp with ketchup. Before that, let's go for the little piece of sausage here. With a little bit of ketchup. Look at that, it's such a cute sausage. Mmm! Mmm! Reminds me of like Okosama lunchy, like a child's plate. Ooh, super crispy shrimp. Mmm, it's so good. It's so plump and so crispy. Everything on my plate is so fresh. And eating this right by the ocean, I feel like I've sort of time warped back in time to like Hawaii of the, the 80s, which is actually a very good thing for me. I am happy, super happy. Looking through the menu, they also have a B lunch, a C lunch, and a J lunch. And these lunches can be found in many restaurants around Okinawa. A lunch is usually the top rank. So that's like the, the, you know, the, the, the deluxe version. And then B is a little less deluxe. And then C is like maybe the most basic version. So A is most expensive, C is least expensive. Uh, here they have something called J lunch. I'm not sure what that is. Maybe it's a Japanese style lunch. They also have things like poke bowls. They have lokomoko. They have steaks and lobster at super reasonable prices. They have so many variety of menu. When I come to Okinawa and the driving around here, I will come back again. All right, guys, we are on our way to Onna Village. And the reason why is because that is where another drive-in is located. This place is called Seaside Drive-In. They've been open since 1967. And I cannot wait to show you guys this place. All right, we've arrived at Seaside Drive-In. This is a place we really wanted to introduce you guys to. I remember in my childhood days, there used to be diners like this one or drive-in restaurants like this one. This place is located in Onna Village, right on the waters, right next to the seaside. It's open 24 hours or at least used to be open 24 hours. Not sure right now because of the pandemic. And because this is a drive-in, we thought, you know, why not do takeout? There's a takeout counter as well. So I got myself some iced tea with a lemon. Mm -hmm. Delicious. And I got myself a sandwich. Uh, this is the seaside sandwich. Let's see what that's all about. Look at this. Look at the way it's wrapped. It's like, I don't know, it's like school lunch or something. Okay, let's see. Wow! Oh, okay, it's a sandwich cut into four, like a club sandwich. And it's a double decker sandwich. Oh my goodness, it's toasted. It's like a clubhouse sandwich. Yeah, I see cheese, ham, tomato, lettuce. Dakimasu. There's actually ham and I think 
I'm not sure. I think it's maybe it's turkey. I'm not sure. There is bacon in here. It's bacon, not the crispy type. It's a Japanese bacon, cheese, ham, lettuce, and mayo. I was looking at the menu. They have things like fried rice. Yes, it's not called chahan. It's called fried rice. And they also have like something that looks like a A lunch. Yeah, you can have the A lunch inside the restaurant, which tells me that we have to come next time. I really want to try their A lunch. This is their signature soup. Very popular soup. It's cream soup, a white soup. Look. Inside, it's cream soup, simple soup, but it's really popular here. It's creamy or, what should I say, very thick soup. It's like a compotage soup, which I used to eat when I was a child. The base is tonkotsu. They simmer the pork bones long time. But tonkotsu flavor, not so strong like ramen soup. It's gentle tonkotsu soup flavor. Mm. And I bought one more thing. It's pretty interesting. Tacos bowl, not, ta not tacos. Tacos bowl, and not taco bowl. Taco bowl is takoyaki. It's not ta tacos bowl. Fried potato. It's this is that's a package for fried potato. They are using same one, but inside it's different. It's like croquet, croquet, small croquet. The size is about table tennis or ping pong ball, and I can see a bread crumbs outside. Itadakimasu. I'm very curious. It's tacos bowl, not taco, not takoyaki. Mmm. Ah. Mmm. Taco seasoning. They're using taco seasoning. And inside is taco meat. And taco meat, cheese, and it's deep fried. Oh, I see, I see, I see. This is interesting idea. There's no tomato, no salsa, but they are using taco seasoning. Mmm, mmm. It's fun for me. Try Shinichi. Mm. No, it's hot. Piping hot. Super crispy. Mmm. Hello. Wow, this is good. Mmm. Mm. You get the flavor of the, the taco meat, and there's also cheese in here. So the cheese makes it mellow, cheesy. Mmm. Got all kinds of textures going on. You know, this is, this is uh, full of flavor. Full of really nice like Tex-Mex flavor. Mmm. Mmm. Wow, this is so perfect. We're sitting here in the car, but the view, the shimmering ocean. Before we continue the video, please let me tell you a little bit about Squarespace. Many of you guys already know that I've been working on a website for the past few weeks using Squarespace, and I'm happy to say that I don't hate it. The hardest part of starting any project is to get started, but Squarespace makes it easy. They have tons of templates to choose from, and that was really fun. Once I was inside, I was happy to find out that things weren't overly complicated, Things were super intuitive. They also include lots of useful features that's helpful to those wanting to build their brand and grow their business. So if you're an artist, you can create an online gallery, for example. If you want to sell your creations, Squarespace has everything you need to make that happen. In other words, Squarespace makes it easy for anyone to start their blog, business website, or even an online store. You can try them out for 14 days absolutely free. And if you like it, use our code to get 10% off your first purchase. Thanks so much for listening. Now back to the video. All right guys, so we're gonna have lunch now. We're gonna go to one of my favorite local fast food joints called Jeff, that's J-E-F. I tried it out uh, a few days ago and I have to have Satoshi eat this. Uh, they have burgers, but they also have something called the A lunch burger and the B lunch burger. Jeff is located in Sunrise Naha Shotengai. This is one of the Shotengai's or shopping streets located way in the back 
um, if you're coming from uh, Kokusai Dori. But definitely check it out because uh, this is the only Jeff branch here in Central Naha. I think they have like five branches all together. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, you gotta try it out. Anyway, enough talking. Let's eat. We bought two sets. A lunch set and B lunch set. Mine is A lunch set. Wow, it's heavy. Oh, look. It's a toasted sesame buns. From the top, it's a tartar sauce, lettuce leaves, bacon, patty, fried egg, cheese, katsu, and domigras sauce. Itadakimasu. Mmm. Everything is freshly cooked in the shop. The katsu is really sakuto, tasty, and of course it is tender. Tartar sauce has a little bit of tanginess. Demogra sauce has a depth, good combination. I want to eat one more bite. I haven't reached to bacon. Mmm, mmm. Bacon gives a smoky flavor. It's fun for me. Mmm, maybe this patty is a pork and beef mixture. Oh, this one is well made. So I got the B set burger. It's the same burger I had a few days ago. It's so good. I have to have it one more time. By the way, uh, Jeff is famous for their Goya burger and Goya chips. Goya is a bitter melon and it's one of the most popular vegetables here in Okinawa. So you might want to try that instead. Uh, I got my set with their Jeff orange drink. I've never had this before. Jeff orange. Let's see if it's any different from like regular orange juice or orange soda. Itadakimasu. Mmm. That is quite unique. It's, it's not carbonated, so it's an orange drink, that's for sure. Good orange flavor with a little bit of imitation flavor added to it. Once again, it's, it's like a nostalgic taste. A lot of things in Okinawa, it tastes nostalgic to me. I don't know about you guys, but when I see french fries in a package like this, it just screams nostalgia. I don't know, does that make sense to you? They are crispy when you eat them right away. Still really good though. And I feel like these are less saltier than the french fries at McDonald's, but I kind of like it that way. Mmm. Mmm. I'm perfect portion. This is my B lunch burger. Look at that. Um, the other reason why I got the B is because the A looked too big for my mouth. So mine, instead of lettuce, there's shredded cabbage and you have Aurora sauce, which is kind of like tartar sauce and uh, ketchup mixed together. You got an egg omelet, you have chicken katsu, all on a sesame seed bun. And I think there is a hamburger patty somewhere in there. All right, let's take a bite. It's so good. I don't know what it is. I think it's a blend of just all the different ingredients. It really works for me. You got the burger patty, which is a blend of pork and beef. It's very moist and it's very flavorful. You got the crunch from the shredded cabbage leaves. The omelet is soft and fluffy. And then you got the crispiness of the katsu. It just works really, really well. And I like the flavor of this Aurora sauce. Hey, kitty cat. Hey, oh, there's a cat over there. A lot of cats in this park. I come to this park all the time. It's my favorite park in Naha. Oh, I also see some bacon in here. Let's take a bite of that. Mmm. Mmm. Nice smoky bacon. But the difference between uh, this burger and Satoshi's burger is that this one has a little less ingredients. Uh, it's only half the size that the patty is a mini patty. You can get like half a bacon. Everything's kind of like half. My mouth will never fit that burger. This one, is amazing, perfect, and totally recommend you try this one out. We came to this park. It's the middle of Naha City. This place is Shinichi's favorite place. Jeff started their business 1986. Quite long history. And this is a very local chain store in Okinawa. They cook everything in their restaurant. So it's freshly cooked. It's dinner time guys and today we want to take you to one of our favorite places to get some steak here in Naha. It's called Jack's Steakhouse but the locals call it Jackie's. So like if you take a cab, 
they say you have to say Jackies. They won't understand Jacks. It's only about a six minute walk from Asahibashi Station on the Yui Rail, that is the monorail that goes through the city. We've been here once before and we really liked it, so we're excited to show you this place. So this is Jack's Steakhouse. This is the place that we're so excited to introduce you to. They've been doing business since 1953. So they've been doing business for 69 years. That's incredible, right? Obviously this place is a steakhouse. So they have steak at super reasonable prices. But of course they have diner food. Um, kind of like a fusion. But they have like burgers. They have steak sandwiches. They have things like tacos, yakisoba. Anyway, I'm hungry just talking about it. So here is Okinawa. Starting should be beer, Orion beer. Cheers, everybody. I got a tenderloin steak, medium size and medium rare. And it comes with this salad and cream soup. This one is very popular soup here in Jackie's Steakhouse. The flavor base is tonkotsu, a pork. I can taste the pork flavor deep inside of the soup. Very comfortable flavor. Mm, mm. I decided to get what they call their A lunch. They have A, B, and C lunch. It kind of rem reminds me of like a mixed plate in Hawaii. Anyway, it also comes with soup and salad. So you can see some carrots. I also see pieces of mushroom in here. Kind of looks like cream of mushroom soup almost. Back and forth. Wow. Wow. You know what? For me, it's like a fusion of tonkotsu soup, which is pork bone broth, and cream, and also cream of mushroom soup. I do taste a little bit of mushroom. This is, I don't know, it, it, it tastes familiar yet new. My tenderloin steak arrived. It's sizzling on the hot, hot plate. It's medium rare. I can see the, the red color of the beautiful meat. So soft. Inside, it's a beautiful red color. Mm. <laughs> what the tender beef. And the beef flavor is flavorful. I, I didn't add anything. Maybe they add a little bit of salt and pepper, but it has a very, very good beef flavor. Here is a very special sauce, number one sauce. This is a steak sauce. This was invented by the, the founder of this restaurant, collaborated with a company located in Hyogo Prefecture near Osaka. Mm. Okay. Mm. The sauce, peppery, sweetness, sourness matches with this beef meat. It has a contrast. This plate comes with this fried potato and onion. Mmm, it's really sakutto. <laughs> First thing I see is this big slab of, looks like tonkatsu. I'm not sure. It could be tonkatsu, deep fried shrimp, you got fried chicken, you got an egg omelet with some ham and onions, some french fries, and maybe that is like a piece of hamburger meat, hamburger patty. And of course it comes with a mound of rice and of course that soup and salad. And while Satish was eating a steak, of course the tacos came as well. Check out the tacos. Oh, five pieces of tacos for 700 yen. That's kind of unbelievable. And I hear that they make the shells um, by themselves. It's their original recipe and it, and it comes with their original like taco sauce. Let's put some of the uh, sauce on it. That's a lot of cheese on top. Looks like a like um, American, maybe American cheese, I don't know. And you see lettuce, and they have uh, the, the ground beef in there. Mmm, the taco shell is deep fried, but it doesn't feel oily at all. The flavors of a Tex-Mex taco is all in here, but I really like the, 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 the hot sauce that they they use it has good flavor but it's also mild at the same time and the flavors really combine well together i'm going to try this piece of a uh, meat by itself with no sauce or anything i think this is going to be great with ketchup yeah this is definitely um it's like a burger patty mm, mm. oh yeah that's a hundred percent beef right there 
but it's not drying on. It's really tender, and I like that char grilled flavor. Oh, that's good. It's seasoned perfectly. You actually don't need anything on that. I don't know what it is. What is it? Is it chicken katsu? Is it pork cutlet? Oh, look at that. I think it's pork. Mm -hmm. Nice and sakuto. It's thin, but it's very tender. It's not dry. A lot of times, you know, when, when the cutlet is too thin, it becomes very dry. This is actually very, very tender and juicy. I have a piece of fried chicken. Oh, that looks so crispy. Mm. You know what? Oh my gosh. Flavor perfectly. It's kind of peppery. Mm. A little bit like um, herby. Oh, that's delicious. It's very, very simple fried chicken. Um, not very oily at all and very crispy. They're using chicken thigh. I actually prefer food that's not overly seasoned. So like if you ask me, do you like um, like sweet and sour chicken or you know chicken with just salt and pepper? I prefer the salt and pepper one. Okay, that's omelette with uh, ham and onions, I think. This is like a mixed plate. I just love it so much. Oh, look at that. Why does that taste so good? Maybe they cook it in butter. I, I'm not sure, but it's really nice. This is my piece of shrimp. Oh, look at that. Itadakimasu. Mm -mm. Everything is so crispy and fresh. I really felt like a french fry. I was in the mood for it. Mm. Yum, 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 yum. I have so much food in front of me. I'm gonna have um, some soy sauce on top of my katsu. Take a bite of this. Mm, and then take a bite of rice. Oh my god. I love, love, love this restaurant. Like seriously, there's so many things I wanna eat here. We have like curry rice, we have fried rice, sukiyaki, spaghetti, and pork chops. Doesn't that menu tantalize you? I don't have so much experience to eat tacos. But I heard this one is nice. Mm. The inside component is like not my favorite food, taco rice. It's the good seasoning. Mm. I like this spice and this shell is good. Not overly crispy, not soft. It's, what shall I say, medium crispiness. It has a little bit of tanginess and matches with this taco meat. Of course, today's my mood is steak. So steak is my favorite steak. Oh my gosh, I re I'm so happy we did this me video. Me too, me too. I did not know about A lunch, B lunch, C lunch. Me neither, me neither. I really enjoyed this experience. Right, and you know, I'm so glad we went to the Hawaii restaurant. It was um, nostalgic mm -hmm. and it, it did remind me a little bit of Hawaii. And I'm glad we went to that fast food place to try the A and B said burger. That's the, interesting. You know, and, and Jackie's Steakhouse is probably our favorite steakhouse mm -hmm. in Okinawa right mm -hmm. now. Mm -hmm. And finally, Seaside Drive In. We only got takeout this time, but next time, I definitely want to eat inside. Me too. And try yeah, their I think so too. A set yes, lunch. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> so, guys, we really hope you enjoyed this video. As always, leave your thoughts in the comments down below. Don't forget to smash that like button. And if you enjoy videos like this one, please subscribe. Thank you for watching. See you next delicious foodie adventure. Bye, guys. Bye.